what is success to me? Well, success is like when you get up to go to the toilet and you do a really big poo. It's like, great. I really needed that. It's like that. And the thing about being successful is understanding that you're no more better than anyone else. you just got the better attitude. And that's what it all comes down to, is having the right attitude. Knowing when to be a as well is important. I don't know about you, but I've been punched in the face a few times. But it's important just to kind of know that you're a when you're dealing with people that have nothing special to offer you personally. And I find that often helps. It instills a bit of fear into them as well. And I find that they respect you more. It's a good sign of leadership. I mean, I know about five years ago, my life came crashing down. I mean, the highlight of my day was just going home from work and just wanting to take my pants off and whack off to Antiques Roadshow. I spent my whole day just obsessing about that moment, just coming home and letting it all go. And that's not how to live. And I got really sick. And I find having the wrong attitude was what put me there. But then I turned my attitude around and found that having the correct attitude is what saved my life. And I thought, this is it. I'm no longer gonna be that pathetic person I'm going to turn my life around and I learnt that through my failures and all my bad fuck ups it gave me lessons it was the success through those trials and errors so now I just want to go out and make more mistakes because it's about learning that's what it is there's so much more value in lessons than there is in celebration Ever since I was a young child, I wanted to be an actor. But sadly, the distractions of life got in the way of that dream, and the sense of financial security one can only get from paying the bills. Never understood that, paying bills. I don't even like doing it. And why the fuck am I still talking in this bad British accent? <coughs> It's okay, it's me again. I'm, I'm still here. The hardest thing for me performing wise was I never got that profile. I never became a household name, so I wasn't comfortable making a performance and comedy my identity. Because you're at a party, people go, What do you do with yourself? And you say, Oh, I'm an actor or, or I'm a stand up comedian. And then they'll be like, I've never heard of you. You wanker. <laughs> Tell us a joke. That's where I came up with the idea of Attitude Consultant. I think it's brilliant. It just says who I am. It's just, it's a fucking bullshit question. Don't ask me that question. And I'm gonna give you some wanky title, just like a sandwich artist or a, or a hot dog fucking engineer or something. I've never really made it as a stand-up. It's just a part of me that would sabotage myself on stage. I didn't want to be a full-time clown. I couldn't deal with the ups and downs of the scenario, so. I would, I'd bring it down and I'd start fucking it up. And, because for me, it wasn't all about the laughs. It wasn't about me getting up there and going, you know, tap, tap, tap. Is this thing on? What's the deal with king size beds? Like, we're going to sleep sideways for the night. They're so huge. What's the deal with that? Just flew in from Adelaide, blew my fucking arms tight. I just couldn't do it. I just wanted to take people on a journey and experience. And for me now, I have everything I need. I don't want anything more, I just want to keep what I already fucking have. So this is when I'm starting this attitude consultancy. I need work. I have everything I need. I have all the resources in front of me. And I'm going to use them. Because I have a lot of value to share. Thank you, it's great to be here, but I'd rather be at home getting sucked off by the missus watching Netflix. In fact, that's what I would be doing, but I've already invoiced the company. <coughs> 
And I know the only reason you guys are here is because work's paid for you. Oh, fuck yeah. But hey, I'm supposed to be here for 45 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll just keep throwing information at rapid speed. We'll get through it nice and fast. And then we can fuck off and go to the pub. What do you reckon? Chicken Salt is written and performed by Rowan Harry and distributed by the Oscast Network.